you you have to distinguish it so again it's uh, your uh, take which uh, ever choices you are making uh, i am just making my references uh, just for uh Hello everyone. Uh, today we'll be discussing about uh, the previous year question paper of uh, psychology. Uh, the chapter is uh, learning, and the questions that we are going to discuss are uh, there in 2014. So let's begin. Okay. Now, uh, if you see the first question, they are saying that distinguish between social learning and conditioning. Now, this is very important. Why? Because um, you know you need to have a very clear concept with respect to what is learning and what is conditioning. Once you have uh, this clear concept with respect to learning and conditioning, then you are easily able to write the answers. So they are saying that distinguish between social learning and conditioning. First, what you can uh, do here is that you can mention what is social learning. So, what is learning? Learning is something uh, you know you observe and then you learn it. So, through observation also. learning is possible conditioning is what that constant uh, practice in behavior will lead to conditioning now the second aspect is that uh, you know you you have to distinguish it so again it's uh, your uh, take which uh, ever choices you are making uh, i am just making my references uh, just for uh, you know to you people to understand it how you are going to attempt this question now uh, learning aspect mein what since uh, it's all about observing so they could be your role models in most cases um, you know uh, the role models of the ch uh, children's are parents so definitely you are uh, you know watching your parents doing certain things and then you are learning from there then uh, what about conditioning so conditioning here again you are practicing so if you remember what is happening is that you have uh, classical conditioning then you have operant right then you have uh, this yeah uh, classical conditioning operant conditioning enough so you can write about pavlovian conditioning you can write about uh, behavioral changes now uh, how learning is going to happen we talked about observing so what happens is that not required to be practiced then uh, here what you can uh, write about uh, in conditioning is that uh, constant rewards and punishment will bring changes in the conditioning so rewards and punishment fine uh, both require the cognition aspect here uh, it is something that what uh, the person or uh, you know the child is observing in case of learning there uh, is something like the rewards and punishment are going to bring changes in the cognition part so here also the cognition aspect is there why because uh, it's a choice which kind of behavior uh, you are learning and here the rewards and the punishment the cognition is uh, you know about um, um, you know identifying the rewards and punishment for which the person is getting reward for the which for the person is getting punishment so that will bring in change in conditioning that this will bring change in uh, you know what learning fine other than that what you can write about uh, in this is that uh, you know you uh, can write about application part for example uh, uh, here you can mention the example of uh, the child learning from the parent and here you can mention that the child is rewarded or punished for a certain aspect fine 
Now moving on to the next question, you can you can add on as much as you want. There's no end to it. But um, you know, I had to just cover uh, the aspect how you are going to attempt the question. The next one is that uh, what are the distinctive features of uh, probability learning, right? And uh, how useful is it in real life? So distinctive features of probability learning, how useful is it in real life? So firstly, what you need to uh, talk about is that what is uh, probability learning? So probability learning is basically the learning which is happening with the predictability of outcomes that means uh, you predict what could be the outcome and uh, that's how probability learning is happening fine now the next thing is that how useful is it in uh, real life so firstly i will talk about what are the features of uh, probability learning and uh, once you have talked about the features of the probability learning then you will talk about how useful is it in real life so let's talk about the distinctive features so first uh, feature of probability learning you can say that uh, it is learning from feedbacks fine second thing uh, you can also talk about uh, you know cognition rules that means uh, you try using your intelligence other than that what kya ho gaya kitne baje ek 10 pe are to 10 minute to hai abhi कट करा देना था कॉग्निशन रूल्स नाउ दैट डिपेंड्स अपॉन योर इंटेलिजेंस दैट मींस यू नो हाउ मच यू आर कैलकुलेटिंग द परसेंटेज ऑफ इफेक्टिविटी ऑफ द रिजल्ट फाइन नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट यू कैन टॉक अबाउट इज व्हाट ट्रायल एंड एरर लर्निंग that means uh, if this output uh, is there and tried what are the probable result fine now the next thing is that how useful is it in uh, real life that means if you are going for probability learning is it going to bring us the effective result with respect to uh, you know in uh, uh, in a real life so see uh, that way business operations probability learning that means uh, nobody is certain about what is going to happen similarly sports what is happening is people are just uh, viewing it uh, the you know people are just viewing the results or uh, people are just viewing it in uh, televisions and cameras and predicting that okay uh, if this could be applied then there could be different changes then uh, marketing behavior if we focus on this aspect maybe people uh, will bring positive result other than that uh, what else educational aspect for example at present you know uh, either it's like doctors or engineers so again there is a kind of what predictability or probability in all these certain cases i have just given you a brief explanation you can again write as much as okay thank you so much in uh, the next class we will talk about the other questions thank you so much